Okay. We got top 10 best anime fights for 2016. So last year, we're going to see what the top 10 best fights were. I got to check this list out because I miss a lot of animes just because I normally only use Crunchyroll. Not promoting it, just saying. That's what I use. Kiss Anime is a good place to go, but it's not something I would watch using my laptop. Just because I've gotten viruses on there before. Which now that I have a pretty good virus protector and, and malware blocker now, so it probably wouldn't be that big of an issue. But I know before, before I actually start putting all this stuff on here, before I start doing this YouTube thing, I would use Kiss Anime. Boy, the pop ups would be non stop. Oh man, it was like trying to use freaking uh, Panda Manga almost. Just non stop ads but now I got a good virus protector and a malware detector and remover so I might actually start using kiss anime again just so I can catch up on anime because that's like the only thing I really want to do right now I don't really I don't really want to game right now I want to watch anime I go through my cycles where I won't watch much much anime and I'll game and then I'll game and not watch much anime. But right now, I'm waiting on my buddy, my two buddies to get Diablo so I can play Diablo with them. So that's one reason why I'm not trying to game. I'm still waiting on them to get the game. And so I stopped playing. I got it, started playing it, loved it. And I just stopped. I was like, man, we're gonna get it, man. I'm like, all right, well, I'm not gonna load this character up no more until you guys get the game, you know? So I have some fun with my friends. Anyways, let's check out top 10 best anime fights of 2016. And, and here we go. Assassination classroom, baby. Yeah. I might do finish it. I really enjoyed this. This right here was a crazy anime. It really gave you the perspective of how like the enemy doesn't want to die either. So like when they were killing stuff. I never watched it. And the only reason why is because Dragon Ball Z Super has just become like the Goku Vegeta show. Like I still I can't believe he still used that form after all this time. Maybe when they start making Oh yeah. Seven Deadly Sins. They on season two of that right now. I started watching it. Their season two fight went on for a long time. It was like the whole episode. I've never seen this.
Luffy versus Nam Flamingo. The world has been broken down. The world is just in the Don't Flamingo. Fourth gear, baby. Mob Psycho. I grew to really like this anime. At first, I didn't think I was going to like it. And I actually gave it a few more episodes. I started enjoying it. All oh my baby. This was a beautiful, beautiful season ender for anime. You're really getting to see the extent of like All Might's power. It got dark all of a sudden though. They got him number three? Yeah. I'm getting caught up in the music when you watch the anime. Oh yeah. Hundred percent. I want a Mob Psycho shirt with him in that form and have it in the background just saying 100%. I need to get three Mob Psycho shirts so I can start putting them in the background. Oh, I don't, I don't really know if I would have gave it to this. Because these niggas were shooting like nuclear bombs and stuff off of this fight. I really just, the extent of the whole ninja thing just kind of went out the window. When these niggas was flying and throwing stuff that was just causing like nuclear explosions like that. <laughs> What do you guys think? Do you think it, that was a good list? Mob Psycho definitely deserved to be on that list. Definitely. Deserved to be on that list. Um, I don't know if I would have gave it to Naruto though. Not number one. And that beat was sick though. You hear that beat? I'm getting into the beat. I'm gonna be watching the anime. <laughs> Does he know how much I love music? Oh! What y'all think about it? Could you add something? I watch a lot of old anime though. Like I'll go back and watch something that may not have been from 2016. Something that probably like 2015. So I don't know if I can really include some of the stuff I would put in the list. Just because I only watch anime according to... D-Gray Man was 2016 when they started it back up though, wasn't it? That was 2016, I think. Yeah, that was 2016 when they started that. I don't know. I guess I'm tripping. I'm probably tripping. Anyway, that's going to do it for this. Okay? You guys let me know what you thought about it. Yes, I'm a D. Gray Man fan. Watched it back in 2008 and waited for Morph to come out. And they waited eight plus years to make that happen. Now I'm probably going to wait another eight plus years just to finish it. Which is ridiculous. This is why we don't never grow out of stuff. 
because they'll bring something back and be like, bro, I really need to finish that. I know I'm 65 years old, but I think I'm gonna have to finish it. <laughs> Your boy is Nixon.